on the card, I just think, I mean, this was a hell of a fight. It was Abraham Nova and Adam Lopez, obviously. Just, it was good to see. I mean, it was good to see Nova back after the Rebasi Ramirez loss. And just, it seemed like in the first few rounds, he was kind of figuring himself out. But it seems like after the knockdown, he really just, that's when like the flip, the switch flipped and he got his confidence back all the way. Just for Adam, too. I mean, he's just a warrior. He's always going to fight no matter what. So I think for both guys, I want to see both those guys back in the ring and in big fights continuing. You uh, you talked to uh, Lopez a few weeks ago on the show, right? Yeah. What did yeah. you uh, what did you expect from that conversation? And you know, based off of his performance, like, what do you think was like uh, didn't match up? Yeah, I mean, I I thought he'd showed everything that like I knew he's always going to come ready to fight. I think with Adam Lopez, that's never a doubt. I just thought that Nova, like I knew coming into Nova was probably the naturally bigger and stronger guy. So I just wasn't sure how. And I knew Adam was always going to be able to, if Nova had any questions still about the Rebasi fight, like any demons or anything, Adam was going to be able to, was the guy that was going to be able to bring those out. So I thought it was a tricky fight for Nova coming off the loss, but I just thought that he responded well. And after the the first knockdown, I think was a legit one. The second one was kind of iffy. I know he Hit him a bit, but then he kind of held on and fell down after that. But overall, I was impressed by both guys in that because even Adam in the 10th round still got clipped a bit, but he started bringing the fight towards Nova also. So, I mean, I was impressed with both those guys. And it was just a really good underrated fight that I hope this fight gets the credit it deserves, too, because it was really a good one. Jack, how did you how did you score this one, bro? Because I, when they read 98-90 and, and whatever the other scorecards were, that absolutely surprised me. Yeah, no, that was way too wide for me. So I had it 96 92, which is six to four. Yeah, that sounds more like. Yeah, even that, or even like, I guess 95 93, 5 5, or even 97 91, I would have been cool with. But I did think that 8 2 was a bit too wide because I gave, then I gave Adam rounds one, three, eight, and 10. Because I thought he, I thought the middle rounds were definitely Nova, but I thought he did enough early on and later on not to win the fight, but to definitely make it closer than the card suggested also. I couldn't tell, right, in the first three rounds, it felt like Nova was kind of having, like, a shake the rust off. You know, I got knocked out in my last fight. Let me let me feel this out. I felt like he had a couple of those rounds. But Lopez was boxing really nice early, and I couldn't tell if it was that Nova switched gears or that Lopez uh, kind of threw the, the, the idea of boxing Nova out the window. How did you interpret that? Yeah, I think it's kind of a little bit of both, honestly. I think it was a combination of Nova knocking the rust off. And then when Lopez was starting to get tagged a bit, just naturally as the fighter, your instinct comes out and he's kind of realizing that this guy's bigger than me. He's also longer than me. So I kind of got to get inside of that. So I think it's a little bit of both. So I think for Lopez, he did have a good game plan. But like you said, what's a bigger, stronger guy starting to kind of assert his physical dominance over you? You want to kind of be able to, to get him back. So that's my opinion on that. It was a hell of a fight, bro. I mean, what? It, and I think it just says so much about our prospect of the year, Robisi Ramirez, mm -hmm. that Robisi handled this guy easily, mm -hmm. very easily. And I, for me, based on this performance, it looks like Nova could give anybody at 130 a decent fight at least. Yeah, no, because I'm definitely interested to see what Nova has at 130 because, like I said, I think he mixes up with all those guys. And even Adam Lopez, like I'm not ready to – kind of give him up or anything like that yet. He's going to be in all those dog fights still. And if he's the kind of guy that if someone's wanting to put up a prospect against him, you better hope that prospect's the real deal. Because if that prospect's not the real deal, I think he's going to be able to expose those kind of guys. So it's interesting, and I'm sure he'll still be in good fights going forward also. I guess this this question kind of goes for both of you guys, but what, what do you guys think would have been the best approach for Lopez to just get himself over the hump on this fight? Other than not getting knocked down strategically. Well, I, I can't speak on it yet. I haven't watched that fight. I, I barely got in to catch as the Guido fight was going, like middle of that fight. So I didn't catch that one. So I can't speak on it. So I'll let Jack take that one. I guess for me, it would be, I mean, I still thought he fought a pretty damn good fight. I mean, we said we thought he won four or five rounds. Maybe just kind of. It's tough because as I'm about to say, maybe try to press him more in those early rounds where Nova's kind of unsure. He could have also gotten caught there in those times and it would have been harder for him to assert his boxing and stuff like that. So it's tough. I thought he did pretty much as much as good. He just came up short against a bigger, stronger guy. So I think there's no shame in that at the end of the day. I think if I had to pick one thing for Lopez for me in that fight, it's that he does everything well, right? So sometimes I feel like he gets caught in between where it's like he, he he's not 
he's caught between being a boxer and being a fighter. And it's, it's like, it's almost like he can't pick one or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree with that. And I think we saw two tales of that where I think in the first three or so rounds, like you said, we saw the boxer of him versus then when he started to get clipped, we saw the fighter of him for the rest of the fight. It didn't really work out in the middle rounds, but then you saw again in the late rounds, the fighter version of Adam Lopez was still able to back Nova up, get him on the back foot to have some success that way also. So I do believe, like I said, he's somewhere kind of caught in between, but I think both styles um, showed success in this fight.